Welcome to Fading Memories, a podcast with advice, wisdom, and hope from caregivers who have lived the experience and survived to tell the tale. Think of us as your caregiver best friend. Hello, everybody. My name is Jennifer Fink, and with me today is Mary Ann and Debbie. They are from Always Home Connected. And we are going to do an unboxing of their activity kit, and then they're going to describe it and tell us their background. So thanks for joining me, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So let me open this up. And like I said, if we can do this without smacking the mic, let's we'll move it out of the way for a second. It's got fun stuff in it. I can already tell. <laughs> giant desk and it's still not not enough so whoopsies we're falling out already do you want me to start with the bag or the folder well, the folder has the directions for each activity in the bag so okay so we don't necessarily need to start with that so here is the folder i don't know which camera to put this on because i've got two cameras going i'm trying to be fancy right there work okay so first things first we as you saw it slid out was a little tambourine it's just, and it's got an egg in here. So I guess I should take this out. Oh, a little shaky shake thing. Okay. Music is always fun, especially if you've got, you know, grandkids or something to play with in there. Yeah. Um, and in the, in the, just to go back to the folder for a minute. So mm -hmm. in the folder, we give you little instructions and um, prompts, conversation prompts on each of the items that are in the bag. So it kind of will tell you, or the caregiver, um, kind of what to do, how to do it, some questions you may want to ask your loved one, and some suggested songs that might be great to go along with the tambourine and egg shaker. So it kind <laughs> of helps you along and, and gives people some ideas. And that's for every activity that's in that bag. Awesome. Well, this is the one on the music. So it says, conversation starters. Did you or do you play a musical instrument? What's your favorite song? Have you ever been to a concert? What type of music do you like to listen to? And what is your favorite instrument? So that is always helpful. So then we have the, let's see if I can um, pull these out in the order though. I don't have to flip through the, so there's something called a brain boost. There it is. Hey, cool. And do you guys hand pack these yourselves? Oh my goodness. Yes, we do. Awesome. So this is the brain booster. And this is an activity that's designed to have fun sharpening your cognitive skills by engaging in popular word games. So let me open this up here. We've got colored pencils, which are always nice to have. Uh, I'm not sure where to put. I'm gonna put all this stuff over here because we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot of piles here. And then, is this a what is this a pen? Yeah, oh, that's a, a really faded pen. Nice have really bad tendonitis in my right hand from years of being a portrait photographer and having a three pound lens on the front of my camera i finally had to give that up so we've got um, a flower coloring book which is nice my mom struggled with coloring because she couldn't figure out what was inside the lines and what was outside the lines but you know somebody in an earlier stage would be able to handle it we've got a word search that's it's a pretty large type, not too huge that it's kind of insulting, but it's good for those of us who um, need reading glasses and driving glasses and all kinds of glasses. I got an eye doctor appointment next week. Oh, and then crossword puzzles. My mom did lots of crossword puzzles in her earlier stages. I am terrible at crossword puzzles. Maybe I should do them more often. Okie dokie. So that is the brain booster. And it says, um, the conversation starters say, did you ever play word search games and how many words could you find? Did you ever do the Sunday crossword puzzle in the newspaper? And what word games did you play with, with your family growing up? And do you like to draw or color? So that's kind of cool. So then we got a mosaic fish, which is helpful because it's sticking right out here. Nice mosaic go. fish. So this one is, it's an under the sea is the theme for this project. Create your own colorful mosaic to hang anywhere. So that is kind of fun. Here's a finished one that one that looks good. I was saying I don't think I can put this together that quickly. Yeah. 
that looks like fun so there's oh you cut out these um sequin or not sequin glittery oh they're already punched out let me show you guys closely i can see let's pull out the purple one it might be the most that one might actually be hard to see where's the camera lens you got it right yeah there, right there you go so you can see that it's basically the back might be easier so you can see that you don't have to do any cutting or any insane stuff because yeah. no, no scissors kind of it's kind of like those baking shows when all of a sudden you have all the ingredients and then someone takes out the pie. It's yes. <laughs> I would love that. So some conversation starters, according to your, your, whatever you want to call this, your handout is, have you ever seen fish while swimming in the ocean or in the lake? We live on a lake and I see fish a lot. Um, it entices the golden retriever who goes with me on our paddleboard. Did you ever go snorkeling? as a kid or a younger adult, or I think my parents or my mom and my daughter went snorkeling. My daughter was 10. She's almost 32. So that was like 21 and a half years ago. Yikes. That means it was like 2002. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Do you live near a beach or a lake? I live on a lake. Did you have a fish as a pet? And if so, what kind? I had a goldfish for a while. It was traumatizing when it died. Dogs are actually just plain easier. <laughs> And does this activity bring back any memories from childhood? Now, is there a special reason that you picked any of these activities? Well, for the for this box, we had a theme going, more of like the summer theme. So in the summer, you would go to the beach or go to the lake with your family. So we try to make it, you know, theme oriented for the specific season that that we're in. And are these monthly or quarterly boxes or? Right now they're seasonal. Seasonal. So what is that? Four? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I live in California, so we sort of have three. <laughs> no, we're right there with you. We don't consider fire season a season. So yeah. Well, I like the joke where you have like winter, fall, spring, winter. What is it? Then it's like, and then, you know, it's just, it's, it's like, I don't know, a dozen different times of the seasons. But yeah, fire is fire season is one of them, which is not really that positive. So this is a I don't have a box for that, don't worry. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, with the heat wave everybody's having across the globe, we might we might need a ice box kind of theme. You know, ice chest, something like that. I like it warm, thank God. And my office is really cold. So even though it's supposed to be hundred degrees, the window is open so that it becomes comfortable in here. <laughs> Where in California are you? I am an, actually an hour north of Sacramento and an hour south of Lake Tahoe. Okay. So we're in the low Sierra foothills, which is kind of nice. Yeah, very nice. nice. Um, okay, so we've got a tropical fish mobile. And this says, let's go fishing. This project isn't as easy as it looks, just like catching a fish. But with some patience, you can create a mobile that looks like you just caught your dinner. Hook, line, and sinkers. Do you have a finished one of those? Yes, that looks much better than the bag. And obviously this one's also a no scissors required kind of deal. And let's see. So conversation starters. When was the last time you went fishing? Lord, like when I was really little, like single digit years. <laughs> if you have never been fishing, do you know people who fish? Yes, I do. Is it better to fish in a lake or the ocean and why? Well, I would rather fish in an ocean, a lake because I have discovered that boats that go up and down like this make me very, very queasy. <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> what else we got here? So we got a turtle button activity. Let's see if we can find that one. Must be in here. Try to, uh, there we go. Oh, cute. It's got all kinds of buttons in there. And she's got a finished one. I'm assuming that there's not glue in here. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> like I said, I did not open the, anything until this morning. So we got a whole bottle of glue. This should last you lots and lots of projects. So what is the goal with this one? Turtles are wonderful creatures that tend to live very long lives. Create your own colorful turtle to place on a table in the kitchen or by your bed. We actually have people that put up signs in like late April, early May that say, watch out for turtle crossings. And we've seen turtles. It's kind of wild. They're just like strolling across the road. <laughs> I don't know where they're coming from, but they must be going towards the water. That's usually where they're headed when I see them. So some conversation starters or where do you think turtles live? 
That's a good question. <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna have to Google that one. Do you think turtles live in a lake or the ocean? Uh, both depends on the flavor, I guess, type of turtle. And where have you seen a turtle in person? And if so, where, uh, down the street when we were walking the dog the other day, and does this activity bring back any memories from childhood, not childhood, but last, last weekend. <laughs> Okay, now we got this one, the Patriot, Patriot Firework Magnet. <laughs> In here someplace, I'm sure. There we go. Nope. What is it? I saw a Patriotic Sand Art, but I don't see a magnet. Wait, oh, no. oh, nope, there it is. Okay, all Perfect. right. <laughs> Come on, Jennifer, you scared us. We're like... Sorry, got the, got the heart racing this morning. So I'm assuming you've got a finished one of these to show. Yeah, that looks much better than this, this pile of stuff. But again, it's got all the little pieces that you can just, they're like stickers, which are fun. I guess I should hold that up a little closer. Stickers, let me catch the light. And we always put a little picture on the instructions to show you what the finished product would look like as well. There you go. <clears throat> so this, the goal and objectives of this is hand-eye coordination, identifying shapes and artistic expression. Artistic expression is my favorite. And then of course you can also talk about fireworks and um, I grew up with poodles. I guess we didn't have a lot of fireworks in our neighborhood because I don't remember any of our dogs being afraid of uh, the noise, but man, my golden retriever hates it. <laughs> when the fireworks literally we have fireworks in our community and they shoot them off like literally like two blocks away. So even sedated, she's still kind of freaked out. <laughs> so poor thing. Now we need to have a tissue tropical. No, that's hard to say. Tissue tropical fish. Lord almighty. That's like a good tongue twister to start, start the day. Oh, this is pretty what it's done. Yeah. You've got all the little pieces of tissue paper that are already cut. Directions have the picture on it. Like she's showing you. And this obviously is creativity, dexterity, hand-eye coordination. And where have you seen a tropical fish? Do the rainbow colors remind you of anything special? And what other kinds of fish have you seen and what colors? So that would be kind of fun. I like the conversation starters because my mom liked to chit chat, but she didn't, she didn't have a lot of responses. So sometimes it, you just kind of like, I don't know what to say anymore. Butterfly house. There it is. Oh, this one's got... Yeah, this is one of our favorites. Yeah, it's got paint in it. That's pretty. And it's all um, the balsa wood and the paint brushes. There's two of them in there. So you don't have to get, you don't have to get too crazy with cleaning stuff while you're participating. Are they different sizes? Yes. Oh, that's what I thought. So I was trying to determine they were different sizes. So this is obviously more creative expression, manual dexterity. Where do you see butterflies? Did you ever catch butterflies as a child? And what color are butterflies? Oh, that would be a question. What color are butterflies? What color do you want them to be? <laughs> I actually went to a place in Fremont, California, where they had the uh, monarch migration. I had to remember the type of butterfly. That was kind of wild, but man, was it cold. Okay, rainbow yarn craft. We have rain. Oh, this is fun. I can tell what we're doing with this one now. We're wrapping the yarn around the, the little holes. That is really cool. And then we've got little but, um, pom poms for clouds. That's really cute. You know, this would be fun. My mom was really creative, but I had a hard time getting her to do any of these things because she was always afraid of doing them wrong. But something like that might have helped her. And giving them to the grandkids, the younger of the two. My daughter was the oldest grandchild by 14 years. So giving these to the younger kids would have probably been really helpful. And I'm either missing. Nope, there it is. Um, what It just would have been nice. I don't know. I think a lot of these boxes came out after she was in memory care and after she was beyond these things. So conversation starters on the rainbow. Where do you usually see rainbows? What colors can you name in the rainbow? Have you ever seen a double rainbow? Yes. Do you believe there's a pot of gold on the other side? No, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think so. It's kind of a fun fantasy. 
So last but not least is our patriotic sand art. We've got the picture. Whoop, there's the camera, mirror image. Oh, that looks so much better than this. So we've got the, oh, I see. I take it these, this piece is sticky. Oh yeah. Peel this off and it's, and you can put the, the sand in it. We've got four colors of sand. Yeah, this one can get a little messy. So, <laughs> you know, we suggest you put a paper under it or something, but you can peel off different sections at a time and sprinkle the sand on different sections. So, you know, it, it can be a lot of fun to do and, and definitely plays with your artistic ability. And then I've got another one, cardboard patriotic sand art. Oh, I guess that's I, the one we just did. Okay. Yes. I guess I, do I have two of those? I think you have one more. The sailboat. The sailboat? Which is uh -huh. the sailboat. I don't, I didn't pull out the directions. Uh oh. Right, right on top then. <laughs> Music, brain booster, mosaic fish, tropical fish mobile, the turtle button, the firework. Just had it on top. It's at the very end there. Yeah, it's okay. the last page. Last, oh, there it is. Got caught with the other one. He's back in here. Okay. So we got the sail. <laughs> sailboat plate craft you guys like the tongue twisters and what do we got here um conversation starters have you ever been sailing yes i think everybody has in my family is what i mean what body of water do you live near on well, the lake in the pacific ocean did you used to go to the beach or the mountains in the summer both i mean we're in california so do you have both as an option all the time <laughs> So this is what this looks like. You got yarn. What else is in here? Oh, and it's got pre-punched holes, as you can see, and more fun felt or fun foam. That is, this one looks like it's sticky on the back. This one doesn't. So you might have to use a little glue on this one, but they're cute. Yep. I love it. So how did you guys get started with these boxes? Well, during COVID, we had we had our other company, Always Home Agency, and we had caretakers in home in you know, working in private homes, and we really found that there was a need for more activity for the caregiver, whether that be a paid caregiver or just someone's loved one who's a family caregiver, activities to do because no one could really leave the house. So we started <laughs> we started putting together little activities for them to do during the day, and it was such a hit that. That's where Always Home Connected was born. And I mean, my mom had Alzheimer's and my mom had, had dementia. So it's, it's a, it, it was a labor of love. It, it's kind of a, you know, it's for them. And, and it's for people like, like you just said, you know, at certain points, your mom wasn't around for this stage. My mom wasn't around for this stage, but boy, I wish she was because, you know, our whole family would go and visit and, you know, you run out of things to say, you run out of things to do. You can only open up the photo album so many times, you know? So we thought that this would be great. We got a lot of great feedback and, um, you know, hopefully it's making a lot of people happy. So you guys have been doing this, what, like three years, two years? Oh, no, uh, there are boxes we just launched in April. Oh, in April. Okay. Whew. So we gotta, we definitely need to share the knowledge because there's there's a lot of good stuff in here and i i think my mom you know she might have enjoyed doing this more with the grandkids the younger ones like i said she always was afraid she was doing it wrong with me which was super annoying because i always she was super creative and she there we go so i would simplify the activities and she just resisted i'm afraid i'm gonna do it wrong I'm like you can't do it wrong you know it's like it's art don't worry about it <laughs> chill so i never really understood where that attitude came from and i finally had to give up my mom liked to sit around and shoot the breeze and so i just eventually took her out to watch children play in the park or at the pool or wherever kids gathered my listeners all know that that's what we did we were like the uh stocky old lady <laughs> stocking on children <laughs> I had to be careful how I told people what I was doing with my mom. And sometimes I was really brave and I would take two of them out, mom and a, and a resident that lived with her. So where can people find out more about you and um, get these wonderful boxes? 
they can go to our website, alwayshomeconnected.com. And on our website, we have individual activity boxes. We have group boxes for memory care facilities. And then we also have a lot of companion pieces that are fun, active, like puzzles. We have games. We, we do have a memory book. We sell the hug. Um, we have an on-the-go bag, which is fun, that has checkers and other games to do. If you're going out, uh, out somewhere, let's take this bag and go do some fun stuff with grandma and the grandchildren. We have a grandparents box. Yeah, we, we try to be a one-stop shop. I know when my mom got her diagnosis, I everyone was running around and not knowing what to do first. And I wish I would have just taken a moment to stop and be like, this is where I should go and order stuff. And these people have figured it out rather than me trying to invent the wheel. And it seems like caregivers always feel like they they have to figure out everything on their own, which is one of the things that I try to help with. I share lots of advice and whatever wisdom, whatever is interesting or beneficial, I try to share it. And just to let people know they're not alone. There's something I was going to say and I forgot. Um, if somebody is interested in getting this box, all you got to do is go to Apple or Spotify, leave a review on this episode, about this episode, and the I will select from the people who do that. So you can go to Fading Memories on either Apple or Spotify, and like I said, leave a review, and you'll have to send me an email with a screenshot because you don't want to leave your email in the review. That would be silly, and then I will pick and send this off to you because I don't really have little kids in my life and I don't have my mom. So I don't have a lot of huge use for this. So I would love to share this with everybody else that, as much as I can. Is there anything else you guys would like to um, share before I let you go? Um, no, we just want to thank you for having us. And, and, you know, part of this is because caregivers are so important. I mean, you know, you don't want I, just going back and forth because I live 3000 or I live 3000 miles away from my mom. So just knowing that, you know, you can get them activities and you can make sure that they're being, you know, your loved ones being engaged was super important. And um, I was very lucky that I had a great caregiver for my mom. And I'm sure they, they, I've actually sent a box to that caregiver, even though my mom has passed and she has used it with some of her other clients and just, you know, we've got raving reviews. So, you know, try us out, see what you like, let us know, but thank you so much for having us. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you so much for joining me. And this was fun. It was different. I always like a little variety in life. So I appreciate that you guys came on and let me open the box and we talked about each piece individually. Fading Memories is also available wherever you get your podcasts.